Hey guys, Crypto Girl here, and welcome back to another brand new video. In this one we're going to talk about a project called Parix. They have their own native token PRX. We're going to discuss this whole project. This is a new generation decentralized exchange, and they have this whole dual mining process. Their mining process is actually pretty unique. So we are going to discuss how it actually happens. When we talk about mining, I'm not talking about the proof of work mechanism here. It's not actually that. It's a different blockchain that we have not covered before by the name of my death chain. So this is the DRC protocol. And in this we have a hybrid model of mining which is actually proof of stake and of the notes. So we're going to discuss how it happens. Not the usual mining, it is going to produce peri stock, but without the inflation. It's actually an inflation heater. So we're going to go over their whole mining process. We're going to take a look at their app and how it actually happens. And we're going to discuss details of this whole platform. How does it work? What makes it amazing? What makes us different? Make sure you watch till the end. If you have any question, of course you're going to ask me. I'll link everything in the description. But as always, anything I say is not going to be an investment or financial advice. So always do your own investigation, research.amd with this out of the way, let's move straight to the project. Now here we are at the official website of Paris. We're going to use this. We're also going to use their white paper, which I actually have right here. So we're going to utilize this and learn about this project entirely. How does it work? It may be slightly complicated, not a lot, but maybe slightly complicated. So we're going to break it down and learn how does it work, learn how you can get an income from this, what makes us different from the other projects and so forth. As I thought in the interim, this is a new generation deserve to exchange. And there's a whole debate between sterilized exchanges and desirabliest exchanges. And we have said multiple times the pros and cons of CERN. So I think that part is pretty clear and I have been kind of like bold about this, that I think that the leading trend is towards the eastern exchanges, because now that they're evolving more and more, they're not having those problems of scalability, not having those problems of loading and so forth. So that point is like I think we're way across that point. So we have all those features that we get in a decent exchanges. But what makes this project different? Because if we are going to use a declined exchange and if this offers the same thing, why shouldn't we go to a platform that already exists and has been existing for some time now? Of course people will go to that platform. So since it is a new generation we need to know that it has something more to offer. Usually and ideally there's always problems in the existing system and whatever new comes up. If you're saying that it's a new generation then it is supposed to fix those problems that are existing that people are facing. So we are going to discuss what the problem is that this is the staff of offering solution to. So before Paris this is something that we can read through the white paper. And also from here. Like it says, before Parks teams had to develop and operate property and texting services. This required significant engineering and other resources, and broke the important security properties required for decentralized action. And this is where Paris comes in, where all data is stored and processed on the open network with verifiable integrity. Paris makes querying this data fast, reliable and secure. So we have different features that comes with it. I'm going to discuss in a way that we all can understand this. So this is basically on my diesel exchange, my DAX chain network. So this is a DRC-16 protocol, but actually we're going to discuss why it is on this, and why this is important. So we do have bridges that bridge it to the finance marching and on the other hand, you can actually purchase the native token, PRC token on Unified and on the Pancake Swap, and they are in communication with other networks to get them at it as well. So we know there are different concerns mechanism, we have proof of stake, proof of work, proof of authority, we have bits where we can actually mine them using our GPUs. Then there's SSD mining, and then there's proof of stake where we basically stake people hold the amount of relevant crypto tokens, and they make returns from there. And then we have nodes where computer nodes making the blockchain is a peer-to-peer -peer diesel network, and if you keep a node you earn through that. So we have different ways you can stick, you can keep, per node. You can do GPU mining, you can do SSD mining. Like there's different ways. First earn income in different blockchains. In this one of my exchange, which Parks Market, this platform is based on, we have and have a hybrid system here, which includes proof of stake, and also note which isn't exactly hardware mining, per node. You can do GPU mining, you can do SSD mining. Like there's different ways. First earn income in different blockchains. In this one of my exchange, which Parks Market, this platform is based on, we have and have a hybrid system here, which includes proof of stake, and also note which isn't exactly hardware mining. If you think about it, you're not mining with GPUs, you're not utilizing those non-renewable sources or fossil fuels, and you're not putting any danger on the environment. It's like pretty green. So we don't have those concerns over there. But since it is utilizing both proof of stake and also the note, you are doubling the income or returns that you get. So proof of stake you basically get like 15% per year dot BUT in this one, you get more than that, which I think this is another thing that makes the new generation, because this is based on this whole mechanism. So we do have a background on this. 
I know it is still complicated, but I believe it is essential for us to cover this. Now what happens in this one if we go over the introduction one more time to better understand what price is. This is a new generation, deeper exchange. It is a structure that can host different networks together, and it's open to different technologies. They have the PRX token, which is their native token, and it is soon to be available on the coin market cabin and coin Geico. And when a token gets listed on these major exchanges, it starts listed on more and more bigger exchanges, and they're actually going to go at some point. I think in one of the top 10 exchanges on the current market cap that they are listed there, it will be listed on one of those. I don't know, it can be hobby, it can be gate, I'm not sure.